YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we have a very special treat for you guys. We're going to be doing another pairing. We'll be looking at the Aroa First 20 year pair with a Tawny Port from Oporto. You guys hang tight, stay tuned, we'll get at it. So we'll be looking at the Aroa First 20 year. We'll be pairing it with the El Porto Tawny Port. I know I've been getting a lot of requests lately. Hey Ron, are you, are you done doing pairing videos? Or we haven't seen any in a while. Me and Eric sat down and talked about it. It's been actually probably right around a year since we've been doing, or since our last pairing video. So right before Cigar Madness, I thought it'd be a nice touch to get some pairing videos in there, some more different content. So of course, that is why you see us here today with this pairing. This cigar is also one of my all time favorite cigars. I've been smoking these for years. What's funny is I actually reviewed the cigar already, but it just never made it to the channel. We had some other stuff going on, some things that took place. So this actually never released on the channel. And I smoked it in a different size the first time around. So it'll be interesting to see how consistent or if this stays true to what I'm used to smoking. Now this cigar is a very special. This is a Honduran Puro. Very nice presentation on this thing. What's funny is the 25th anniversary just recently released too. I was able to smoke this cigar, smoked it a couple times, probably will get that cigar up on the channel, but I believe I'm still a personal fan of the first 20 year is my personal favorite from the line. So Honduran Puro, this is a six by 54 box press, has your nice tissue paper around, the nice band. This is just a very classy looking cigar. We'll go ahead and pull this paper off of it. Got a little damage on the foot, but I think we'll be all right. Kind of a barnyard chocolate smell coming off of it. Very nice wrapper leaf though. Very flattened out veins. Has some tooth present, tight visible seams. Appears to be a nice single cap on it. Kind of could be a double, but I'm looking at the leaf. It looks like this is just a, a nice large single cap on this one too. And then the port, the Tawny Port Wine. Very big fan of uh, Royal Oporto. It's a very budget friendly, good, good pairing partner. There's some natural sweetness in the Honduran tobacco that I think will go very well with this port wine. So that is why I chose it. This cigar retails for right around $13. Also, this cigar was provided to me by Tinderbox of Memphis. So if you're local to the area, this is something you might want to pay attention to. They're running a special promotion from now all the way until February 27th. You'll get a, raff, a raffle ticket for every Asylum, CLE, or Aroa cigar that you purchase. Schizos are not included, but anything else, any other CLEs, Asylum, or Aroa cigars will get you a raffle ticket for every cigar. First prize is a $500 gift card. Second prize is a $250 gift card. Third place is a $100 gift card. So if you're local to the area, this will be a great way to explore some different cigars if you're not used to them. You guys know I love this cigar. I'm also a very big fan of CLE. So I'm stamping approved in the Corojo, Connecticut. There's quite a few cigars in that lineup that are really, really nice. So this is something you might want to pay attention to. And hey man, you might win a $500 or $250 or $100 gift card. So that is what the information was told to me. So I figured I would pass it along to you guys. Go ahead and cut this up. Got us a good medium, medium firm draw on it. A lot of cinnamon coming off of this. Cinnamon and wood is predominantly what I'm getting. Figure we go back old school for a minute and got a couple of matches left, so we'll light this up with a match. Brown sugar, cinnamon, wood, very, very prominent in these first few draws. Black pepper, really rich, nice rich flavors. I would say already medium to full on body. Nice good uh, mouth coating from the smoke. All right, so we got us a good light. I'll keep on smoking, probably get through this first third, then jump over on this port, see what it's doing for this cigar. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this Aroa First 20 Toro. Fantastic cigar. I would say the body has definitely toned back down to a medium. I'm gonna put medium across the board, body flavor and strength. 
really nice flavors on this one. They are, this is a cigar that I think is really important to retro hill. On the normal draws, picking up a little bit of a leather note, some oak wood, pepper steel. Cinnamon is there, but not as intense as it was in the beginning. But the retro hill, you pick up a nice creamy cedar note in there. And that's where it's a lot more sweetness for me is in that retro hill. But even now smoking. Definitely creamy cedar. Still getting some pepper in that retro hill too. Construction's been pretty solid. The ash is kind of, it was kind of flaky, but burn line's not razor sharp, but I don't think I'm gonna have to do any corrections or anything like that. So no complaints at all. Definitely has a, you know, is, is this being a, a Honduran Puro, there's like a different, when I say some sweetness, like the cinnamon is always usually there. There's definitely a different taste than Nicaraguan and Dominican tobacco, as it should be. It's a different territory, but it's not bad at all. I think Honduran cigars don't get enough props or enough praise. And I've always been a very big believer in Aroa. CLE, they put out great cigars. His bro uh, brother over at Aladino also puts out some great cigars. So actually, I think this is going to be a really nice pair. And I think the port is going to bring out some sweetness that the regular draw and the kind of the base of it's kind of lacking. So... Very nice fruit fruit fla uh, fruit, fruit flavors are on there. Picking up a little bit of a fig on there. A little chocolate in there too. Pretty good. Now that definitely is bringing out more of that chocolate on the mouthfeel. All right, I'm gonna keep sitting back and enjoying this pairing. So I'll come back, let you guys know of anything, any changes or anything like that. But so far, medium across the board for me, as far as the cigar is performing just fine. Not textbook perfect, but nothing I'm gonna have to pay attention to. Nice, good flavors on this. This is again, a cigar that you're gonna want a retro hill. Again, the Royal Oporto Tawny Port, very good port as well. Can even see the legs cling, clinging on the glass now. And this bottle here is going to set you back $20, something like that. Also, what I wanted to note too, I don't know if a lot of people got a chance to watch the, the wine refrigerator or the wine cooler that I, uh, video that I put out. These ports, I, this is one of the few things for me that I, you can drink chilled or you can drink at room temperature. I had it sitting in my uh, my cooler for a little bit, let it sit out for probably about 30 minutes to an hour, got it to warm up a little bit. So it's not super chill, but it's not exactly room temperature, but it's still really, really good. So you want to pay attention to that, especially if you're drinking more traditional red wines, you don't want to drink it really chilled because the tannins, especially if it's a bigger wine, is going to take over where you're not going to be able to pick up on flavors of the wine. Same thing if you're drinking White wines, you're gonna to wanna to drink those chilled. You don't wanna drink those room temperature because those are traditionally a lot more sweet and those flavors will get real syrupy and you won't be able to really pick up on a lot of the nuances too. So just the FYI, I see a lot of people that drink wine. Not that I'm a wine sommelier or a kind of, or an expert or anything, but I think those are kind of the basics that people need to know with your dessert like wines. You could drink them room temperature or chilled. Big old Cabernet, Syrah, you want those room temperature. Moscatos, things like that, sweet whites, you wanna make sure that those are really chilled, just like champagne too, so just a little FYI. But I'll come back after this second, third, and give you guys another update so y'all hang tight. All right, so yeah, late update, been sitting back kinda of enjoying the cigar, blew right on through the second, third of this Eroa First 20, Toro. Great cigar. One thing I would knock on it is the complexity. Flavors have been pretty much the exact same as the last update. The port is still nice. This is what I would not call I wouldn't call this an elite pairing, but I would call this an everyday pairing, like an EDC, kind of an everyday carry, everyday pairing. This is a cigar combination that I come home from work or whatever, I pick this cigar up, I pick this bottle up, I know it's gonna be good every time, just consistent. Flavors on this thing, still getting a nice leather note, still getting some cinnamon, creamy cedar is still there. Still would say it's around medium all the way. Maybe the body's starting to slowly creep up to that low side of medium to full. The burn line has improved some. The ash has also improved some since we've gotten further down in the cigar. Been really enjoyable, so no complaints. I'll go ahead and score it though. Just let you guys know where I'm at. So for flavor, I gave it a 17 out of 20. Definitely above average flavor. The flavor profile on this thing is very good. 17 out of 20 for me. 
you're going to get a lot of richness and depth that a lot of cigars I feel don't provide. So I always, I'm going to bump up the score from a traditional, you know, definitely above average. I know a lot of cigars I'll score around that 16 area for me to get over a 16 has got to really be different. Flavors on this are real nice, rich and intense. For draw, I gave it a 20 out of 20. Uh, perfect amount of resistance, not very airy, not super tight, just a perfect amount of resistance. Gave the burn a 20 out of 20. Looked like in the beginning it might might have needed some correction or something, but never had to do any relights or touch-ups or anything like that, so we'll give it a 20 out of 20. Complexity is where the cigar for me kind of did not shine. Gave it a 15 out of 20, which still isn't terrible. You're still getting some different flavor notes, but you're not getting a lot of transitions where you'll get a certain flavor profile then it'll switch to something else or something else intensifies. Other than maybe the creaminess of the cedar kind of intensify, other than that, nothing really still going on. Still black pepper, cinnamon, leather, earth, things like that. And then I gave the strength a 16 out of 20, so this cigar is gonna get an overall score of 88 out of, 88 out of 100. Still for me, don't let the score detract it from me saying it's one of my favorite cigars of all time. And I say that because I've been smoking these for three, four years or so. And they are just, this is a cigar that no matter when I pick it up, it's gonna, I, you know, you can just know that a cigar will be good. Same thing for the Tatuaje Black Label. There's a, a couple other cigars, Padrones. I just know when I pick it up, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be consistent. And I'm gonna enjoy whatever I pair it with or just the time that I'm gonna have smoking it. So I'm gonna always reward that. This cigar is definitely a great cigar. Hey, with that being said, Oh, before we get out of here again, because I know sometimes people come in late or don't pay attention. Again, if you're local to the Memphis area, Tinderbox is offering a, or they're doing a raffle. For every CLE, Eroa, or Asylum cigar purchased, they will be offering a raffle ticket. This goes on all the way through February 27th. First prize winner will get a $500 gift card, second place $250, third place $100. So if you're local to the area, make sure you stop on buying Tinderbox, pick up some CLEs. Eroa's Asylums, they're definitely some good cigars throughout all those uh, brands. Now, with that being said, y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And damn sure don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We will catch y'all soon. Hey man, Cigar Madden is coming soon. I hope y'all ready. I am. Peace.